So, Matty, pretty impressive way to start the season. Must be a pretty positive locker room after a result like that. And yeah, no, the boys are very happy. Um, I haven't seen in the team spirit we showed tonight on the field and after the game there, um, ever at Zebras, and it's something that we want to build on to continue going Colonel forward Sanders. for the year. Obviously, an early setback, uh, conceding that goal inside of 10 minutes. Uh, you must be really happy with the way the team responded to that. Yeah, no, um, credit to South. They um, called us out, but we knew we were going to score goals tonight. We've got the firepower to beat any team in this league, and whether they scored one, two or three, we knew we could outscore them, so we're always confident of that, and we're confident in each other. So is that the philosophy this year? Should we expect uh, a lot more games like this with lots of goals from the Zebras? Well, hopefully not conceding as many, but yeah, hopefully we score five every week. That'd be nice. And uh, not a bad performance from you up top tonight? Oh, yeah, I've got a couple, but yeah, always want to improve. So yeah, hopefully three next week, so. A big impact from uh, your new import, Iski Van Dorn. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Yeah, no, he's a quality player, as you can see tonight. Um, he links up with everyone well. I thought Sklena was brilliant again tonight too. All the young boys at the back, Pacey, Big, him. Um, everyone was brilliant and it showed that we've got some depth this year and um, people will have to look out for us this year because we want to win things this year. So an early statement do you think that victory to the rest of the league? I think so. Um, I think everyone, well the betting I think was about six dollars for us tonight so hopefully there's a few rich people out there tonight because um, yeah I don't I think people underestimate us and pre-season means nothing. We were confident the whole way through. We knew we had backup coming in and I think we've showed that over the last two weeks. Is that something you you really used to fuel yourself in the build up for this game? Oh, not really. We're just confident. Um, we always back our ability, we back Gab's decisions as coach, and um, we're 100% behind him. He cops it every week, so this is a nice thing for him to get his head held up high, and um, yeah, we're behind him 110%. And obviously, you can't get too carried away. Zebras have been in this position before. How do you yep. ensure that you stay grounded after yep, such no, a great result? We'll celebrate tonight back at the club, but then um, come Monday, Tuesday, there'll be a focus on Northern Rangers. Um, we'll probably go have a look at them tomorrow and see where we can break them down next week. Take it a game at a time, and yeah, go from there. Cheers, Ken. Yep, no Tough evening there to start the season, Ken. Where do you think you went wrong tonight? I... Played into their hands a little bit um, and got caught on the counter attacks. And we knew there would be a handful at the set plays, and we didn't defend well at the set plays. So I suppose that's the area where we fell down. But if you keep giving them those opportunities, they'll take those opportunities. I think apart from a 15, 20 minute spell in the first half, we were in control, but we didn't didn't finish them off and. Uh, they showed great character and kept fighting and uh, got themselves in front and it was good enough. Do you think that's a sign that it's going to be a really open league this year with a number of teams capable of pushing? Yeah, I think we're all aware that that's going to be the case. But we're also uh, pretty much aware as well that when Zebras play as a first round it's always a big game and they invariably win it but we, we tend to regroup and come on pretty strongly after that. But. I think many teams have a chance to, you know, the, it's going to be a tight league, I've no doubt about that. There's going to be some tough games, especially in the middle of winter when the weather changes and the grounds get tougher. So it, there's a long way to go. So definitely no early panic at South Hobart then, just business as usual? Yeah, we we have to keep going now. We, are, we know we've dropped silly points here, so we have to make sure where the next game we get three points and back on track and then decide to mount our challenge. Where do you think the side needs most to improve moving forward? Well, I, I think the side, the team is all right. Uh, we just needed to be a little bit more clinical in the first half with the chances we had. And we just need to play our football and try and break through the lines and keep possession and play through the lines and take our opportunities. It was a pretty crazy game with a lot of goals kind of coming directly after another one. Mm. Is there any reason you think particularly well, for that? Like a concentration, people turn off and, you know, we've lost the ball on the halfway line or in our opponent's half and uh, they've gone through one, two, three tackles, you know, so we've got to be obviously a lot more aggressive in those type of situations. Lovely. So, okay. yes, Good stuff. Well done, lads. So, Thank you very much.